एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एल टॉक अबाउट द टॉप सेवन स्टार्ट कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू डेटा साइंस डोमेन सो एज यू ऑल आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट यू नो देर इज अ सेपरेट प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिक्स विच इज गोइंग ऑन एज ऑफ नाउ ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ पॉजिटिव फीडबैक्स एज वेल बट there are a lot of students who used to ask me one question that what are the top 7 stats concepts which you would say to everyone whosoever is in data science domain should know so here i'll talk about the top 7 concepts apart from that obviously there is a lot more to explore to learn but i believe as per my experience that these seven concepts are something which is pretty much important for you guys to understand let's start with the very first concept which is about the descriptive statistics so as you all know i started my playlist with that concept itself where we are talking about the descriptive part of a data set that we have for example here you should know what is mean what is median what is mode right how to calculate the maxima minima percentiles for example 25 percentile uh, 50 percentile which is also known as median only Seventy five percent tile, right? Quartiles are there, so all these things we should know. So whenever we are talking about the descriptive part of any data that came under the category of a descriptive statistics, so this is the very first concept which you should be aware about. If you remember, uh, I did the implementation via diabetes data, and I showed you completely that how, with the help of a describe function in Python, we will be able to get that descriptive portion of the statistics. in any kind of a data set that we have the second important concept that you should know is how we can measure the dispersion of a data now here you should know that there are so many ways to measure the dispersion specifically talking about three ways which we have already covered up again in the playlist one is the range another one is iqr and the last one is standard deviation and variance you should know each and every way you should know how basically we can calculate the range how we can calculate the iqr and how we can calculate the final standard deviation and variance what its intuition behind that while doing the calculation what it's representing what's the drawback of everything for example when i am saying range it is specifically you know relying on the maximum and the minimum value so that is the completely different thing which we are discussing in range it impacts a lot when we have the outliers right so that's why it's not a good measure of dispersion similarly for iqr if you will observe while uh, detecting the outliers in a uh, generating a box plot iqr knowledge is pretty much important again a very important measure of dispersion and standard deviation and variance so we all know it's really really important concept to measure that how much is the spread of the data while plotting the distribution of that particular data coming towards the third important concept which i want to talk about is the central limit theorem again very important concept we should know in statistics that how the central limit theorem is you know pretty much important in real life industry level projects as well now to explore central limit theorem the fourth concept you should know is the normal distribution because this is what central limit theorem says right if we you know uh, do the similar task taking out the samples maybe n number of times uh at that point of time you will observe that whatever be the distribution you are starting with you will be able to get finally a normal a normal distribution so you should know what is normal distribution all about right how we how you will be able to get an idea uh, of central limit theorem if you don't know itself what is normal distribution all about so this is the fourth important concept which i am talking about the fifth important concept any guesses fifth important concept is about the probability distribution there you should know what is the independent event what is the dependent event all those stuffs you should be clearly able to know let's talk about the sixth important concept which is about the correlation i believe the last video which i have uploaded in my stats playlist is about the correlation only how the correlation is evaluated what is the impact of correlation coefficient if the correlation coefficient of two variables is very high is very low i believe you all know that it ranges from plus 1 to minus 1 so while dealing with a data science project if my two variables are having a high correlation coefficient at that point of time what will happen is it good or is it bad if it is bad then what is the next measure which we use supposed to do in order to avoid the problem which we going to have if we will not remove that particular 
uh, feature feature that we have right right the last important thing the last seventh concept which i am talking about here is the hypothesis testing again you know maximum students know all the six topics which i have talked about here but they really failed at the last seventh topic which i am talking about hypothesis testing here you should know what is null hypothesis what is alternate hypothesis at what point of time we should consider the one as a null and the another one as a alternate hypothesis in hypothesis testing p value is something which is a really really important topic which you should clearly aware about you should know how we can evaluate the p value and what impact that p value do have if the p value is you know great, greater than alpha or less than alpha what is the alpha significance value so all these things i will cover up in the upcoming part of the videos but obviously hypothesis testing is the very last topic in our stats playlist before that we need to cover up more into it the seven concepts which i have talked about i believe half of the topics like three or four concepts i already have covered up in my playlist so if you haven't watched those concepts if you are not aware about those concepts please go and watch that playlist i believe you will find the quality content there in terms of you know understanding in terms of you know getting the proper quality handwriting everything should be there so i believe if you will go and watch the complete videos of those you will be clearly able to understand what i am talking about here remaining pending uh, topics which i am saying here for example hypothesis testing for example probability distribution which i haven't covered up for example central limit theorem all these concepts are way to come so please wait for a while i'll keep on uploading more videos as you can see that on my channel every alternate day video is coming up that's the only reason because i also want to speed it up and i also want to to deliver more with respect to the stats portion as well as with respect to dsa as well so both the playlists are going on and once the stats portion will be completed then we will start our machine learning playlist separately where i'll talk about the different machine learning algorithms and its mathematical intuition behind that and then i'll try to correlate whatever we have studied in charts how it is really impacting us how it is really important for us and if we will not you know in the initial phase of our journey will not understand the stats concept then what impact do we have when we are starting the machine learning algorithms so that's why it's a prerequisite for you to have a stats knowledge when i'll start the machine learning playlist as well so i hope that you guys are really enjoying these videos you find these videos uh, insightful if yes please do share these videos to everyone it would really mean the world to me and with this i would like to end this particular video i hope that you really enjoyed this video as well and with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone and i'll see you all in my next upcoming video